right, we'll see what the flower has to say. Oh, I guess really I'm not. Need to, ooh, we have to kill him. Interesting. <laughs> so is is this flowy or is this a different one? Oh, this is flowy. It's a wonderful idea. Here we go. Into the unknown. Hmm. Man, what a game. Undertale. Hmm. Cool. By Toby Fox. So I, I just, I've noticed that we kind of have a border around, like a black border around this that we can't really crop because the game is at a different resolution. We should try to make like a... We could use like the stream overlay thing. Well, that one's a little too bright. Yeah. We'll, we'll make one, make it like really dark and stuff because of... It'll death. probably be like a dark blue that we do with each game because we definitely don't want it to be... Too, yeah. Too, too distracting. Too distracting. Now, we don't fight Sans yet. That's going to be last. <laughs> oh, and if happens. you're wondering why we're uploading uh, twice in a row, it's because this is a special game. <laughs> we're breezing through this. This is special mode because a special someone decided to not play Mario Maker. <laughs> Good job, Spencer. Human. It's the funny skeleton. Oh my gosh, it's Sans. Sans Undertale. Oh my gosh, it's Sans and Josh. <laughs> See, the human capture like fanatic. Anytime I hear this music, I think <laughs> of like any video that we had ever. <laughs> <laughs> wow, good dialogue in this game. If you kept pretending to be one, because Sans knows 16 left, so there's 16 that we have to kill. The snowman's I'm actually there. very curious to see. We'll try not to skip the dialogue when we get to the Sans fight, okay. because. Oh, yeah. I've heard that it's like a very interesting premise, and I've not heard a whole lot about it, so. <gasps> <laughs> I don't really understand this game a lot of the time. <laughs> okay. Sans. Oh my god. I'm dizzy. What am I looking at? Behold. <laughs> it's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was right. Rock. Wow. <laughs> it's not a rock. Hmm. <laughs> As a human, prepare yourself for hijinks, for low jinx, dangerous puzzles, capers, japers, being captured, and other sorts of fun activities. <laughs> Refreshments will be provided if you dare. <laughs> yeah, so Sans basically calls our crap because he is like omnipotent and knows all. So, the... yeah. What is the character's name here, Frisk? Ye yes. What is, yeah, the canon name? Frisk kind of seems like Villager. Yeah. Because it's just like sitting there with a stone cold smiling face. Stone cold Steve Austin. Puppy. Pew. Puppy died. <laughs> Shlink. So does getting the knife actually like do anything? It increases your attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our level of violence increased. Let's go. This Which is, is what Aiden does to his dogs. <laughs> no. Oh, so when we were at Aiden's house filming that live action steamed hams thing a while back. I was sitting there with his cat because his cat just freaking was magnetized to me or something. <laughs> and uh, what? Let's draw the stick. What? I don't know what's happening. Oh, we we, we just killed the snowman. Oh, we took all the snowman pieces. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, oh, Aiden's, nice Aiden's cats, like both of them actually, his mother's cat and his father's cat, are both. Mega stupid. <laughs> now his mother's cat is like the adorable kind of stupid, right? It's, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's... Oh, I feel so bad for Papyrus though, because we're just freaking screwing up all those puzzles. <laughs> and then Sansa's like, "Yo, why, why are you doing that? It's not nice." <laughs> Wait, so if, if Sans is sampled from Patrick, what's Papyrus sampled from? SpongeBob. Huh. I don't know. Sponge boy. I don't think they found his sampling yet. Do, do, do. 
Wait, so it's like, how do they determine the... What do you mean? How do they determine that Sans was sampled from Patrick then? I don't really know. That's a good question. It's like some freaking big brain stuff right there. Yeah. 15 left. Oh boy. 15 what? Lives. Oh. <laughs> so if you... Oh, so you just die and... So here's a fun thing. So there's a switch here. But it's already been pressed with the vines. Because Flowey's helping you out. Because he wants oh, everyone okay. dead too. Which is why under... If you can pull off genocide, it's the fastest route. Because a lot of the stuff is already done for you. Oh, puppy. <laughs> oh, daddy. <laughs> well, just freaking yeah. block it with your shield. Don't even know how to <laughs> play Minecraft like a pro guy. <laughs> like a pry. There we go. All right. And we have to fight these doggos again. Well, at least I get to see all the things I hate just die immediately. So that's a fun thing about Undertale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, the only bad part of, about genocide is that we don't get to kill, um... Yourself? N yes. Well, uh, never mind. I'm not going to say anything about that yet. But, um, you don't get to kill the scientist lady. Oh, sucks, yeah. Because I hate her. She's my least favorite character. I'm going to remember... Do you still have to do that puzzle section? Uh, what do you mean? There was something that you did in... Oh, in... No. The super... Yeah. Super missile? No. Those are just a long one. beam, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of the stuff is turned off. Oh, frick. Yeah. See, I get to actually interact now, and it's not just... <laughs> it's not just like... No hmm. controller ASMR. <laughs> is it possible to increase my mashing technique for the... I, I might have to risk my knuckles, but, you know... Hey, it really... was worth it, because it worked. You know, me sitting here wearing a Yoshi costume right now <laughs> proves that... It was worth it. Knuckles heal, but my ego doesn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's already done. <laughs> what am I doing? I need to turn down the TV a little bit. Maybe. I want the echo yeah. to happen. Let's turn it down. Oh, cool. We're just going to walk through the puzzle again. That sucks. We can't turn it down that low. Fine. Okay, there we go. So, here. you want to hear a story? Yeah. So, I left my lunch at home a few days ago this week. Okay. And I was kind of sad because, you know, I'm a teenage boy and I don't eat breakfast. <laughs> so, I was starving. And luckily, behold, Dave Gray walking out of the sanctuary with a lovely... Do I have to do this puzzle? No, I don't. <laughs> with a lovely plate of communion bread that Pastor Hines had left. Now, Pastor Hyas doesn't have, like, the communion, like, little wafers that taste like cardboard. Mm -hmm. No. He imports these big, like, strips from frickin' um, Israel itself. Like, they're literally written in Hebrew and stuff, and they're just, like, these long beams. They still taste frickin like cardboard. Mega Chad, Pastor. Yeah. They still taste like cardboard. But Dave was, like... Yo, I'm just gonna throw these away, so you can, like, look at it if you want. It's like, Dave, can I just eat these? And he's like, yeah, sure, I don't care. It's like, nice. So, I had some of Jesus' body, um, and, you know, it's true what they say, the spirit is filling. I consume the entire infant. Yeah, the thing is, the thing is, how much communion do you have to take for you to absorb an entire Jesus, you know? I mean, the Nazarenes want to believe that, but Catholics do, because they're... That's, like, you, you played Skyrim, right? Yeah. It's like instead of killing a dragon and absorbing its soul that way, you eat a bread and absorb Jesus, oh my and you can just shout at people to convert them instantly. Is that what the apostles did? Isn't that what Catholics <laughs> believe? Probably. Catholics are weird. Except f <laughs> with Catholicism, you probably have to be wearing like a specific robe or something to do it. Eat in Latin with holy water. Catholicism is so weird. See, I'm. A Okay, do you know the technical differences between Nazarene and Baptist? Because I really don't. I've heard it both um, ways. Baptists are like Calvinist. They believe in predestination. Mm -hmm. Nazarenes don't. Personally, I don't think it matters. But, you know, what can you do? As long as you're a Christian and you're saved, that's really all that matters. Well... I think that it's also important to have a good understanding of, like, the teachings of the Bible, because it's, like... Oh, yeah, that's important. So, like, 
In the end, yes, it does matter whether or not you're saved, but I think it's also good to, like, have a f solid understanding, which, uh, personally, I don't think Catholicism is real Christianity. I think it's that not. while it can bring you closer to God in that relationship, a lot of the stuff they teach is non-biblical, and it's very specific in the Bible that you're not to, like, add or subtract things, basically. Especially with all the books that they add. Yeah, they the whole Mother Mary aspect. A lot of like, okay, so if you're watching Undertale, I don't know why you'd be doing this, Simon, but <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it's I, kind of weird that we're talking about a it's, Catholicism. It's a, it's interesting. Christianity discussion. on a genocide route of Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that a lot of Catholicism is heresy. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It directly conflicts with biblical teachings, and it's like, it's basically Christianity, I don't even want to say light, because there is, it's harder, basically. It's hardcore to, yeah. It's, it's not as bad as the Book of Mormon. Oh my like god, Jehovah Mormon is not, Mormonism is not Christianity. Like, it's, it literally just isn't. It's just, but Catholicism yeah. is debatably not. I'm personally in the camp of there's no way that this is Christianity, but... I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, it's... Religion. <laughs> but, speaking of religion, there's a Book of Mormon musical. Oh, and yeah. it was by the creators of South Park. <laughs> I'm sure that's perfectly respectful and oh, outlines yeah, their religion of well. <laughs> and, you know, I listened to it because it had Ben Platt in it. I was like, <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. So, me and my girlfriend at the time, we got tickets to go see it, and then my mom surprised me and my brother with tickets to see it <laughs> on the same day, at the same time. So I had to be like, I'm sorry, babe, but these are like front row tickets, so I'm gonna go see it with my mom. And, because I, I showed my mom the, the playlist, but I kept out the, the one song called Hasa Diga Iboi, which literally means F you God in African. And they're singing it, and the Mormons are like, Wow, that's a fun phrase. You say that all the time. And they're like, yeah, we say it when anything bad happens. F you, God. And they're like, oh, crap. We've said that like seven times in this song. <laughs> so my mom listened to that, and she was like, Aiden, what are, you, what are you listening to? Did you edit the soundtrack to this? Why aren't any monsters spawning? <laughs> what the heck? Sorry. I have to go somewhere where they'll spawn so we can actually continue. But anyway... She was like, no one's not going to see this. And I was like, hey, I didn't say that he should go see it. So, okay, you got the tickets. But, <laughs> 11 left. Okay. Okay, I get it. But, does that tell you how many monsters are left in a room? In just in the area. Well, that's what general. I mean. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of helpful. It's like the Metroid counter. It's just like this one time in Xenoblade 2 where... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Spencer's not here. Spencer's not here. Which, I actually would be curious to hear... Because, like, occasionally we go into talks about, like, Christianity and very rarely politics. Mm -hmm. I am curious to hear, like, I would probably take a guess and say that most of our audience is atheist. And it's probably pretty... Fit well, actually, no, that's not true. I would say that about... Most of our audience that, like, doesn't know us in real life is atheist. And all of our audience that knows us in real life is Christian, or at least yeah. claims to be. Um, yeah, I but political that. leaning, I have no idea. I think that it's probably like all over the place. He's either mega liberal or mega, mega conservative and there's no in between. Well, I mean, unless there's a between and then there is a between. I was going to say there's the gamer minority. What's the gamer minority? Like anarcho-capitalism? Gamers rise up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't say bro, this is a slur. But this monster is really annoying because you can only do so much damage to him because his defense is so high, but he doesn't attack you, so it's just an endless barrage of you swinging at him. Go, Metapod! <laughs> He's so annoying, I hate him. I hate I'm him sure so what's much. up with this character design here? He's looking kind of Taco Bell looking dude. <laughs> Pizza Hut freaking. Well, he's dead. Alright, nine more. Nice. So this area is. So we're gonna do like an area each time. Um. Come to think of it, that may be five episodes, actually. Well, we'll just... We'll see. We'll play it by ear and see how it goes. We might just do one of the boring areas off camera, but we'll see yeah. what happens. 
And if we need to, we can cut stuff, so. Well, that is true. I mean, we'll just have to... What are the shortest areas, do you know? The the first one was the shortest area. Oh, well, rip that. <laughs> but that also had cutscenes. Yeah. Do, do, do. That's kind of cool. One thing that I really like about a lot of the, like, stylized old games like this, like the ones that obviously aren't for the SNES because they use better color depth, but it's like they're still stylized and pixelated. Yeah. Is that they'll use, like, modern-looking particles. Like, I know um, Terraria does it, and it's really nice-looking. Mm-hmm. Um, I bring up Metroid a lot, but I know the... Another Metroid 2 remake was stylized to look like the original, except they used, like, really high-quality particle effects, and it looked really good. Yeah. And then, like, I know this game does it with, like, the... The snow isn't super high-quality, but it's still, like... They do it a lot with the final boss of the True Pacifist route. Oh! Because there's a lot of colors there. Okay, I looking at this monster, <laughs> it's... I thought its nostrils were its eyes... I thought he had a mustache <laughs> and a smiley face, and I was like, what kind of character design is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just a really weird crab guy. I didn't see it shifty eyes. Jerry. Did you, like, do you see what I'm seeing in the middle there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, I think this monster is just supposed to look awful. Yeah, kind of. Seven more. That was its goal. woo <laughs> So here's the gamer's track, you exit, and then you go back in. Wow. And then we just walk around a little bit. Mm, this is a good episode. Do we, yeah. do we just want to cut until we get... We could, yeah. All right. Uh, let's let's move on until we get to the next portion. Okay. Let's make a note here. Where, let's see, that's 17 in. Oh, God. We'll just get to the next area and then the episode, then pretty much. Yeah. Like, we can skip past most of the grinding, is the thing. scream or something really yeah i don't know what that was <laughs> just some boys creepy pasta yeah, freaking Jerry. finally freaking we Jerry. we were walking around for about uh, what 10 yeah. 15 minutes like it was a ridiculous amount of time and then i realized hey <laughs> you just have to stay in the same we room and it won't look reset up the wiki so yeah anyway thanks steam very cool <laughs> community tab steam community coming in clutch <laughs> mm. it, it, again it's, it's been a while since i've done a genocide route but that I, is it's true. still pretty fresh all of your time and effort was spent in neutral so <laughs> just like smash brothers <laughs> get it because all Aiden does is camp <laughs> that's all you do too a samus no no well as a zoner yeah I did not camp with Yoshi or Fox, I'm telling you what. Well, yeah, okay. So now we can progress. Also, did you hear that Brexit passed? Like, not passed, but they actually went through with it now? So Britain is not in the EU anymore. Wait, Fun what? times, yeah. What are you talking about? Do you know what Brexit is? I don't want to ask what it is. You're freaking retarded. All right, what is we're, we're ending this episode. Thanks Brexit? for watching. No, I'm not telling you. Hold on, we're almost at the... We have to finish this area. It's okay. All right, fine. Brexit was a vote that Britain should leave the European Union. Now, Oh yeah. the European Union is like... The point of it is to kind of redistribute resources among a lot of the European countries... And Britain had a vote to leave 
because they were paying a lot more than <clears throat> other countries into it and were getting a lot less representation. Mm. Well, I, I was going to say, <laughs> like, a lot of people are comparing it to um, America in the 1700s, but... So the cool thing about Genocide Route is we just get to steal everything. <laughs> nice! So we'll take that. Yep, take that. Oh, we don't have enough room. Hold on. Oh, boy, nice. <laughs> okay. We just, we kill the shopkeeper, no witnesses, nice. So first we gotta use the box, put in all the, that stuff. Now we put all the tough glove. Item. Alright, seems fun, seems Scroll. cool. Now we go back in here. And get the real knife. Bandana. No, the glove's better. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah, anyway, um, kind of the, apparently it was like a British political meme for a while because they had voted like a year ago, or maybe not quite, but a long time ago, um, the referendum to exit the EU actually passed. Hmm. So they, but they, they weren't actually out of the EU. They just voted to say, yeah, we want to do this. And they said that it's like, oh, it's never going to happen. And they actually left today, and people are mad, so... Dude, January has been one heck of a month. And that is where we're ending this episode, so thanks for watching.